Hi guys, welcome to my closet. This is a long overdue video and the tells you're helping me do this. So we're gonna do a quick tour of my closet and then we're gonna do a Q&A based off of the questions you guys submitted. Um, so this part over here is the main part of my closet. And a lot of you guys asked me where Paul keeps his clothes because all you see really are my side of the clothing, but he has a side, very small side, but the guy does not have very many clothes. So he doesn't need a ton of space. But basically, the way I designed my closet is to make sense for the kind of clothes I have and the quantities. So I have like the little mini to midi. What is this? <laughs> <laughs> it clearly got like washed and dried and ruined. This is why I like to do my own laundry. <laughs> Just shuffle that in. <laughs> Uh, let's, let's pull this one out. So this side of the closet is mostly all my dresses. So it's like things that are mini to midi go on this little hanging area. And I basically start it with spaghetti straps moving into sleeve lengths and then it's by color. So it's a little bit of a chaotic system, but it makes sense to me. And I always try to do like blush tones, whites and blacks together because those are basically the only colors I wear with the exception of like this and this. Um, and then above here, I keep all my chunky sweaters. So like comfy throw on hoodies, sweatshirts, that kind of thing goes here. Up here, I do my chunkies. You don't want to hang a chunky sweater because it's heavy and the weight of the sweater on the hanger will leave weird marks on your shoulders. So I always fold chunkies. Um, then up here, I like to keep my belts in a basket because I don't particularly love the belt hooks that they make. So I just keep all my belts kind of rolled up in here. Um, that is my system for that. And then I keep my dust bags from like purchases, whatever it might be in this basket. And I use these for traveling. So it's really nice to have them to pack your bathing suits, your underwear, your bras. And then I always bring an empty one for dirty clothes. So that's very helpful. Then, whoops, moving this way. I have my long hanging, and this is obviously for like longer dresses, my overalls, my robes, which you will not believe the amount of robes I have. This insanity, I've got like cotton, spandex, satin, silk, lace, everything you can imagine right here in the robe department. And um, this closet, when we moved in, actually did not have a long hanging space, which is weird to me because a woman did live here. So I just was kind of confused like where she hung a dress. I don't know. So based off of that alone, I had to redo the closet because I clearly have a ton of long hanging stuff and it was all dragging on the floor when we moved in and it was just a nightmare. So anyways, so this is like how I keep majority of my stuff. Um, over here, I keep all my jackets and it kind of goes far back behind in this corner. It's tucked and goes far back. And I keep things that I don't wear as often back here. So something like this gold puffer. Um, it's kind of a shitty thing because I feel like sometimes I don't remember I have things like that and I don't remember to wear it. But I mean, how often are you wearing a gold puffer anyways? So keep all like my puffy jackets, my fleeces, my faux furs, anything that I like don't really care to wear often, I kind of shove in that corner. Um, Another reason I kept the layout kind of like open this way so that I could see what I have because I do forget often like I have things. So it's nice to see it in front of me so I actually wear my clothes instead of constantly going for the same five things, which is definitely something I still do on a day-to-day -day basis. Um, back here, I keep tops. I'm kind of low on tops right now. I've been on like a weird binge where I like want to get rid of all my tops after I wear them for some reason. So I don't have many. And so I ended up bringing all my denim jackets over here. Clearly I'm a fan and I'm like low on jacket space right now. So it's time to actually go through that now that I'm thinking about it. But I hang all that and then down here I hang all of my t-shirts, my tank tops, my long sleeves. And as you can see, I have like a huge obsession with like basic whites, basic blacks, a little bit of gray and tan, and then recently a pop of red. Um, I feel like you can never have enough white t-shirts and I have tons of different ones. I have like cropped ones, cuffed ones, boxy ones, flouncy ones, printed ones. I mean, you name it, I've got it. And I just feel like each one is different. Even though I have like 50 white t-shirts, to me, they're all different. 
um, and they all kind of give you a different look. So on this side is Paul's shirts. He does not have that much clothing. Like it's crazy to me. This is all his, um, like his work shirts, his printed button ups. And then down here, same thing. He has all of his shirts hung. He has no organization. It's disgusting. <laughs> like really? I can't. I come in here like once a week and I try to clean up, but it's just never, never going to be, you know, like picture perfect. So this is like the best we can do. He has a very small section of suits and then down here he keeps all his jackets and above the closet like above the top top shelf you'll see all my hats are there that is obviously really hard to reach for me so I put something that I don't use every single day like my hats and it helps me see them keeps them on display keeps them nice and organized and flat and stored nicely so that's where I keep all my hats and now this is like the closet of doom or death or something. It's disgusting. Um, <laughs> you come into here. This is why there's doors on here. Oh my gosh, Paul. This is from here up is Paul. Clearly a <laughs> pig lives here. <laughs> from here down, I'm a little bit of a pig sometimes as well. But like I'm just overflowing with stuff, which is a sign of when it's time to purge is when your stuff is like bursting out of the space you have. So if you don't have enough hangers for the clothes you're bringing in it's time to get rid of shit if your shit looks like this it's time to get rid of shit like it's just time to go and right now I have no interest in cleaning out my husband's side of the closet because he'll just wreck it in 24 hours so not my problem <laughs> um anyways when you move this way from the closet we'll switch sides um this side of the closet used to be completely empty and I felt like it was a total waste of space so I had the same person who built out the closet build us this custom um, dresser, and we each have a side. Excuse me. <laughs> and it's basically underwear, bras, socks, pajamas, and bathing suits. And this drawer is my bikinis, which is, I know, one of the questions. And it's, as you can see, a nightmare in here. So, gotta get this organized before it's bikini season. And same for Paul. Um, I like to keep my perfumes up here. We like to keep everything like, you know, out in the open. So we're using our stuff. And then over here, our jewelry, I mean, my jewelry, I have this little thing from Amazon that's really handy. These are little dishes from Target, which I just throw in all my jewelry to keep it kind of organized. Um, and then that's really it. We have this extra space that's just kind of tchotchke, like things that I don't know where they belong. It's not exactly the most aesthetically pleasing part of the closet but the guy talked me into doing it like that, which I don't know, I regret it. Um, and then here I needed full length mirrors and I needed shoe space. And I recently remembered that the inside of them are still blue. <laughs> so the person who made this actually needs to come back and fix this now that we're talking about it. Um, but yeah, so basically I keep my shoes organized by style and then color. So booties and then heels, and obviously my nudes and the whites and the blacks, and then I got my flats, mules, sneakers, and like workout sneakers, and Paul has four pairs of shoes. <laughs> so there's that. And like, don't feel sorry for Paul because I try to buy him clothes all the time and he just doesn't care. He's like so not interested. Um, over here is where I keep my handbags. I was never really a big fan of displaying my bags because I like them to be in their dust bag with the stuffing in it kind of stored nicely because they're expensive but it wasn't doing anything for me being in a bag because I wasn't seeing what I had just out being open like this it wasn't cute in the bag so I decided to like put them out and now I actually wear my bags more often I shuffle through them but what ends up happening is I like will pick three bags a week to wear and then they're missing from the things it never looks full or nice and they're just sitting by the front door. So clearly I have like an issue with closets because this is always like the messiest part of the house, the pile. So there's the chair. This is my chair that's normally piled up to here with clothes. And then once it's like too tall to actually sit on the pile, we just throw it to the floor. And then from the floor, I have to then put everything away. Um, this hook right here is from Amber Interiors. I usually hang either like my robe or whatever we're about to wear there my nice hotel laundry basket that rolls. Um, our laundry room is like across the house. So I like to keep this thing, even though it's not cute in here because I just don't want to have to lug all the laundry over there. So it's very handy. 
And this rug, which I get a lot of questions about, is from the Rosewell Flea Market. So sorry I can't link it, but it was a good find and it fit perfectly in the space. Um, I think that's it for my tour. So I will take questions. Let me tell us gonna read them. Okay. I'm out of breath. <laughs> All right. A lot of talking. Ready? Yeah. First question. How do you decide what to keep and give away? So I have a rule and it's, I have two rules. When you get something new, you have to get rid of something old. And my other rule is you only have enough stuff for the amount of hangers you have. So I refuse to buy hangers. And if I have to buy hangers, that means I have too much stuff. So I always either have to get rid of something when I have something new or Right, yeah. So that applies to both scenarios. So typically if I run out of hangers, it just means I need it's time to purge. So in with the old what? In with the new, out with the old. <laughs> Where did you get your white hangers? My white hangers are from Bed Bath and Beyond. I held off buying cohesive, like matching hangers for a very long time because they only had like a yellow version of the white and it just looked old to me. So they finally have these, which are called Dove. And I bought a ton of them and I will say that one of my tips for making your closet at least appear organized is matching hangers throughout. When you have a mixture, it's like hot mess. Like it just, the thought of it even gives me anxiety. But um, yeah, tip of the day is get matching hangers. How do you store weird shaped items? Weird shaped items, I'm imagining something like this. Like, you know something like I don't even know what you call this I guess a crop top um I would hang it mm. <laughs> but I don't really know I don't know what else would be what else, what else is weird shaped what do you think um your hats the belts stuff like that I feel I like I mean bins and baskets are always nice so if you're if you have the type of closet where things are exposed I say baskets because they're just nicer to look at but if you have like a closed off closet bins are probably a more like a space saver and probably more efficient but yeah just carve out like a drawer for weird things do you separate your clothes from winter and summer or color i do not separate them by season because i live in la and everything is pretty much like year round over here so as you can see i've got a turtleneck sweater dress right next to this tank top dress and this <laughs> is probably something i would wear on monday and then i'd wear this on a tuesday so it's definitely not by season um it's more by sleeve length and then by color. What are your must-haves? Must-haves. So I'm a big jeans and t-shirt kind of girl. I think Levi's are the best. They're my favorite fit for shorts and for jeans. I love a mom jean. I love a skinny jean. I love all high-waisted jeans. Um, so I definitely think that's worth it. And then basics. So like I said over here, I have endless amounts of t-shirts and like this is one I created from my collection. It's a very um, like boxy fit. So I like to wear mine tied or tucked. But then I have this one, which is by my girlfriend Belen's line. And this one like hangs really nice. So it's a crop and it's still boxy, but the fabric just drapes on you nicely. So you don't have to really do anything to it if you don't want to. Um, I definitely think invest in your basics. I know it seems maybe silly to some people to spend $40, $50 on a white t-shirt, but the difference between a $5 one and a $50 one is the way it fits, the way it looks. You can wear that out to a nice dinner with a nice pair of jeans and a nice pair of heels. I think invest in basics and then and then go cheap on all the other things, like buy a cheap printed dress you're only gonna wear once or a cheap you know, leopard skirt, but invest on like the things you're gonna wear every single day, if that makes sense. Favorite piece of clothing? Ugh. Um, I don't really have a favorite, but I mean, I have like sentimental. So in my closet, I've got a section right here of all my white dresses. And these happen to be all part of things I wore to my wedding. So this is like my dress I wore to my engagement party and it's wrecked. I never got a dry clean for some reason. Oh, Clearly I was young and dumb. disgusting. Yeah. Then I've got this dress, which I wore to my rehearsal dinner with the pretty little Grecian flowy dress. And then I also have my second wedding dress here, which it's funny because my sisters and I have all worn this at some point in time for something <laughs> as a Halloween costume, 
I don't even know why, but yeah, my second wedding dress. I guess this would be my favorite piece because my actual wedding dress is no longer with us. Okay. Um, how did you figure out the layout of your closet? The layout of my closet was just based off of the things we had. So I tried to make the closet that was existing here work and it didn't work out very well. Um, I discovered that I needed drawer space, I needed concealed folding space, and I needed lots of different hanging spaces. And so what I love about our closet is that it's all adjustable. So while I kind of roughly designed how I wanted to lay out when it was installed, I ended up switching shelves around, like different heights and spaces. Um, I moved, you know, some racks up and down, just kind of like to, having the ability to customize is really key. And I'm so glad I did the adjustable because I feel like when you do a permanent installation, you're kind of obviously you're stuck with what you picked. And depending on your wardrobe and the things you bring in and out, you might change that. So, um, yeah, it was more just like testing out the situation, figuring out how to best store what we had. So this is really it. How do you keep your folded items neat? Well, as you saw, I don't. Um, I would say once a week, I like to go through everything and just kind of reorganize. But also when I purge is like a great time to kind of um, reassess your stuff. And also um, when you get rid of things, it's like so much easier to keep everything organized. So at some point, like when we go through this, it'll look so much cleaner and it'll last longer and more organized longer just because there's less stuff right now I think we're both like overdue we've got endless sweatpants endless black jeans I have like I'm looking right now like 12 pairs of black jeans I do not need that many <laughs> it's like outrageous it's stuffed my jeans section is clearly like overdue for a purge so and Paul has a bathing suit next to a pajama and a jean and a sweatpant like what do you call this you call it divorce. <laughs> okay. What price price range do you typically go for for everyday pieces? Um. So, like I said, jeans. I feel like jeans and t-shirts are worth the splurge to me. So, for jeans, I will spend anywhere from ninety eight dollars to one hundred and fifty dollars, depending on the brand. I go for Levi's and a Goldie DL nineteen sixty one. And so they can, they can get up there. They could be close to $200, but for the most part, I don't like to spend more than $200 on a pair of jeans. That's kind of like my limit on that. And then for tees, um, I'd say I would spend up to like $75 on a t-shirt. I know that sounds really crazy and don't tell Paul that I said that, but I love t-shirts and I wear them every day and I get good use out of them and I take good care of them. So to me, it's worth it. But aside from the basics, I really don't spend a lot of money on clothes. Like I'm not a big believer on buying designer clothes because I feel like you wear them once, especially in today's age of social media, you take a photo, you probably are not wearing it again or something to an event, you're not gonna wear it multiple times. Like don't spend so much money on clothes. So, I don't know, $100 max on something like specialty? I guess that's my answer. <laughs> How do you store swimsuits? In this drawer which is a nightmare. I usually can't shut this drawer because as you see, this is about to fall in there. So this just tells me I need to get rid of stuff. That's all I want some. I was just gonna say, I'll take those <laughs> jeans from you. Uh, <laughs> yeah, seriously. This is actually crazy how many bathing suits are in here. But I love my bathing suits, so it's just something I have to live with. Messy, messy <laughs> bathing suit drawer. Last one. Who is your favorite handbag designer? Um, definitely Balenciaga. Balenciaga is my favorite. I think Gucci makes really, really cute stuff. Like my latest purchase, I got this little backpack for myself for my birthday. Love it so much. Um, but I do have, I think all my other Balenciagas are currently on the other side of the house. But Balenciaga has just been my like consistent favorite for years. It was my first, this is my first ever designer bag. This one right here, I have a YouTube video all about my handbags. And so I'll never get rid of this because it's like sentimental and this meant a lot to me. It was my first big purchase and I still love it to this day. Um, but I don't know, I feel like Balenciagas are classic. The designs never change. They're never like going down a trendy route. So I don't know, I think Balenciaga. 
That's it, right? Mm -hmm. All right. Well, thank you guys for tuning in. I'm going to link my hangers and my hamper and my jewelry storage and whatever else I can possibly link in this closet. Um, if you have any other questions, leave them down below in the comments and I will see you guys next time. Bye guys.